and welcome back to Harry Plays. Today, we're going to be making an iron farm. Because I said I wasn't going to deal with villagers forever. But the thing is, it's because I couldn't get villagers into this thing. I went with the old fashioned method. And this is how it turned out. We got four adults right now, two children. Um. I just made a, a mini house thingy with beds in it and then I put two villagers in there, bred them a bunch and yeah now we have all of them so um now we've got all of them we can make an iron farm because you need six villagers to make an iron farm oh my goodness um and the reason why I'm making an iron farm is because last episode, if you watched it, we defeated the wither twice. So, technically that means that I need a beacon and to get lots of stone, I need to have haste. Two. And um, to get his two, I need a max beacon, and you need a lot of blocks of ores for that. So, um, what I need to do is is like just get a video up for how to make it and i need to use minecarts but before we do that i need to go back to my base to get some stuff to prepare and to pre um repair my elytra and yeah so I need to find a way to repair my elytra quickly. Hmm, how could I do that? Killing fish. Fish. Okay, I need enough to fly up and then go down. Oh, I don't have respiration. No, Aqua Infinity. Okay, let's get rid of them. Oh, I've also got a I've run out of fireworks. I'll be back when some back in my base, I guess. back once I got stuff and killed me okay so I've got all the building blocks here I'm watching a tutorial by Waddles I think is its name sorry if I pronounce it wrong but it's a 1.16 iron farm really compact but to make it efficient I need to put it near our base our base and also not have it near a village so I think with that stuff I say we need to put it near our base like maybe um maybe around this area maybe and that would mean we need to transport villagers over 1,000 blocks. What if you are stupid or something? That's a lot of blocks. So I think I want to find, like, I want to find a river that connects to the sea. So if you go around to the
over here. This is where it stops. So the desert is all the way over here. So we might have a little problem. But that is also something that we could do. I've been looking at this other village because I keep spotting this other village. But the problem is, is there three villagers? So in here, I've got three minecarts. And as I can see first, there are two villagers. So we need to wait for this one to stand still. So that's one villager. Stand still. We need him to stop for a decent amount of time. Okay. There we go. That's two. And I'm pretty sure there might be one in here. Yep. That is three villagers, and that's how many we need. Usually you would need six, but this is perfect so let's take down the quads of this and let's go back to our base see the quads for that and then we'll see how long because i know that's shorter away so that's around 600 there's a more direct route Five hundred-ish blocks. If you fly direct, if you die, if you fly directly forward until six hundred, And then turn. Here is the village. If we can transport it to a lake that's just over there, I can bring the villagers by boat. So that would be great. So, what we need to do is make a minecart rail going over the three boats and we might get a new Menden villager just so that we can have the stuff so I'm definitely going to need more rails How far away is this lake slash river? Not too far. This is the river we want to get to. It stops there, but from there, we can go to this river and this river. leads to our base so we need to transport them what's the closest part we need to transport them here to start with no here to start with let's take down these cords 500 
193. Not too far. So let me go get some more brows and I'll be back. And we're back with quite a lot of rails. So here's our track. The side of the powered rail in here. And a powered rail here. I won't need the axe. Pickaxe, so I'll only need those two. I'll put these in my hand. I need to sleep. Otherwise, my villagers will die. And I do not want that. Sleep, sleep, sleep. So. To get all the villagers there, I'm going to mark out a massive line of rails and then I'll go and add in the power. So, all what I need to do is go along like this, taking ages, but what I'm gonna have to do. So see you when I'm done. Okay so this is the boat place where they're all gonna go off into boats and they're gonna go down there. We've got a track leading all the way back to the village so without further ado let's get this first villager going. He should be able to make it on his own, hopefully. So, he's there right now. Let's watch him go over here. There's another boost. There's another boost. Up he goes. And he is at the boat station. So, I don't know how I'm going to do this boat station. I'm going to take one boat. Lock him in. So we can't escape. And then I think the only thing that's going to be in there is a boat. So, yes, first villager in a boat. So, let's just put him over there for now. Put these rails down, fly over here to sleep, and then I'll get the other villagers over there. So see you, maybe once I'm back at base? Yeah, once I'm back at base. So, guys, I did it. I think that should be an achievement, like, well, advancement as they're called, for travelling a villager 500 blocks. Because that was a nightmare. Like, a massive nightmare. Like I said, I'm putting it on here. So when I'm building the castle, slash walls, the farm will be running. And that will be good because then I can do something I want here. I want beacons to turn on and off. So I can have, um, my... I might like pick, I might have a chooser what I can pick, if I want speed on my beacon, I might, I might have a speed beacon and a haste beacon, and if I want haste I'll flick the haste lever, and if I want speed I'll flick the speed lever, or if I want both I'll flick both. Anyway, 
I'm going to sort out my inventory. And where is the shulker box? Please say it's back at the oh, it's there. Okay, it's fine. I'm gonna go sort out my inventory. I'm gonna start on it, and then I'll cut back. See you guys there. Quick update: We've got this a broken elytra, so I can't fly. And I've also got a really annoying me. Because now I need to get a zombie. And it says you need to name tag him so he won't despawn. But you can also give him an item so he won't despawn. But now I don't know. Should I give him an item and risk it? Or should I do what the farm um, builder actually says and gives them a name tag? I don't know, so I'll figure that out and I'll be back. So all the villagers are in there, we got um, a walkway so the zombie can come up and we have a name tag. You just saw what it said. Um, and how I got the name tag, so I didn't go into any dungeons or anything, I used my Menden villager, I got it to master and then I um, traded emeralds for a name tag. So now I just need to wait for night and then I can get a zombie and then I can finish this build. So let's do this. And guys, we have done it. It might not look like much, but as you can see right now, there's an iron golem. They get stuck a little bit, well not because they don't want to go down, but he's in lava, burning, and he's about to die, there, I would say it's the fastest iron farm, but it works, and it's been 5-10 minutes, that much. So, I don't know, I think I might do some AFK in here for an hour or so, and see how much iron I get, and you'll see next episode how much iron I get, but I need to find a perfect place where I can AFK where iron golems can spawn. Can hear iron, because I also don't want to die. So I need to find a place that I can be protected. Oh my goodness. I never thought it would be this hard to land on one of these. I do it all the time. If I stand on one of these, can they spawn? Or is it too far away? Too far away? Too close? Or is it too far away? I think hit... <coughs> My light broke. I say... Up in the sky, in the middle of my castle... That is where the best one is so let's get some cobble let's kill this creeper and this is kind of the center Golem spawn here. So if I just make a little view in place, of course, this is temporary. I'll make an actual, um, like AFK in spot eventually. But there we go. 
and AFK and Spot. So, oh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like if you really enjoyed it, subscribe if you want to see more, hit that bell when it's subscribed, and yeah, guys, hope you enjoy. You could have followed along, but it was kind of hard, so I don't judge you if you didn't. But, like I said, hope you enjoyed. Bye! Peace, everybody. Roll the outro.